Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. Welcome to this lesson in Outlook where we talk about how to maintain an organized inbox. And it kind of looks like the picture, you're sweeping some of those emails into, into where, right? It's gonna be the question. But this is meant to help you organize your inbox, automate a little bit of that email management so you don't have to do all the work yourself. And it's a great example of how to handle those repetitive emails that you might get, like newsletters every week or updates of some kind. So the sweep feature is a way for for us to automate how things get looked after in our inbox. So I'm going to click on this message here from Microsoft and you're going to see the options I have and then you'll kind of figure out a little bit more about this feature. So with this email selected and I could certainly check mark the box if I wish to but I don't really have to because it is selected. I can just click on the sweep button at the top and this is what sweeps all about. It's about letting us move the messages from this particular sender somewhere else and that somewhere else could be deleted items as I'm showing there or it could be another folder that you specify but we do have a number of choices here so right now if you know you have a ton of emails from this sender and you're like yeah I should probably get rid of those ones because I've looked at them and I don't need to keep them and maybe they're a newsletter of some kind that you've already taken a quick peek at so the first option could work move all messages from the inbox and so again, regarding this sender is what it's looking at. Now, the second one is even more interesting. This one is saying, you know what? The sender is going to send me stuff all the time. Move all the messages from that sender, from the inbox and any future messages. So anytime they give me a future message, then I want to remove them as well. Kind of sounds like junk mail when we're talking about it in this respect here. So keep in mind, I have deleted items chosen here, but I could just as well choose a different folder. So I could say, you know what? I do like these messages and I would prefer prefer to see them in my reading folder or whatever folder matches you can have available for these messages. Now the third option, keep the latest message so I have time to read it and move the rest of them from my inbox folder to the folder I'm specifying here. And then the last one is, you know what, just automatically move any messages from the sender that are over 10 days old. That really could fit nicely with those newsletter type emails. So this particular email from Microsoft Azure, I have a number of their messages in my inbox right now that I kept as an example for us. And really all I want to do at this point is move all the messages from the inbox folder into deleted. Later on, I might choose to sweep this again and say, you know what, keep the latest message in there or keep it for 10 days. But at this point, I don't need to keep anything. So I'm going to choose OK. These messages will move to my deleted items folder. Okay, so if I click on my deleted items, so the Microsoft one here and here and here. So there's a few in there that are showing up in my deleted items. Okay, I got another couple of examples for us. So there's a newsletter that I get from Lisa. So I'm going to check off this one this time. And in this case, I'll use a different option for sweep. So I'll choose sweep again. And I'm going to say keep the latest message that I get from her and move the rest of them from my inbox actually to my reading folder because I do want to keep them for a while and then be able to read them again as well. Okay, so keep the latest message, move the rest from the inbox to reading. So I'll choose OK. Now it says it's working on that. And while it's working, on that it says you know I can go and look at my rules that I've set up so in fact I'm creating what's called sweep rules for these particular messages so click on the button for view rules and this takes us to our settings area so if for some reason you didn't get the button popping up for you the way to get here would be use the settings icon in the top right and then go to mail on the left and then go to sweep on that column inside there and so right now you see I don't have the first one that I did from Microsoft because I said just delete the emails from the inbox from Microsoft. It didn't say anything about future stuff. So that's why I didn't create anything here. But the one from Lisa, it has created a rule for me for this particular example. And if I go to the drop down here, it's just telling me the email address that it's using and what it's going to do with this email message. So if I didn't want this particular sweep rule anymore, or if I wanted to just turn it off for a while, this toggle will let me turn it off, toggle it back on. And if I change my mind about it altogether, I can simply hit the garbage can to delete it. Okay, but I'll leave it as it is right now. So I'm going to go out of settings and then in reading, let's just see if there's some from Lisa in there. Yeah, so there's a couple from Lisa here. She changed the way she was sending them. So there's a few down here as well. Okay, I'm going to go back to my inbox and 
I do get a newsletter from the chamber every week, I believe. And so I like to keep this current week's newsletter in front of me. And so for this example, I'm going to sweep the email messages in such a way that I keep the latest one in my inbox and the rest of them can be deleted because it is a newsletter with news that's getting old. So I'm going to go to sweep and I'm going to choose I always keep the latest message and move the rest from the inbox folder. And so again, in my case, I'm going to say delete items, but you could be choosing a different folder at this point. You could be saying, oh, I want to move it to another folder that I have, Connie. And that's totally fine. Okay, so I'm going to choose OK. And again, after I've done this rule, it's saying, you know what, you can go view the rules just in case. Now I have three of them. All right, so I'm going to close out of there. So that's sweep. So that should help you find those emails that you receive on a regular basis and you're always having to drag them over to a folder and then you realize, oh, I should have dragged the one from last week or from last month over to the folder and I forgot about it. Why not use sweep to manage a number of those emails that have some kind of pattern for you and in the same way. Okay, so I used a couple of examples of newsletters for my sweep examples. You could also be using things like promotional emails that you might be getting and you want to see that latest sale. Maybe you want to do it for recurring reports that you get and you want to see the current report in your inbox and the ones that are older filed away somewhere in another folder. Or maybe it's project updates and the same thing. You want to see the current project update, but the other ones can move to a folder. Okay, 